Now let's seek blessings from the Holy Presence. I now request Devananda for invocation. Please rise from your seats. Maitri Bhajata Akhila Hrujaitri Maitri Bhajata Akhila Hrujaitri Atmava Deva Paranabhi Pashyata Atmava Deva Paranabhi Pashyata Yuddham Professor K.P. Sudhir, Executive Vice President, Kerala State Council for Science, Technology and Environment and Principal Secretary, Science and Technology Department, Government of Kerala. Professor V. Meera, Registrar, Cochin University of Science and Technology. Professor Shailij P. Dean Research, APJ Abdul Kalam. Technical University, Professor Supriya, Coordinator, KCST Tech First 2022, Dr. Sharin, my dear colleagues, teaching and non-teaching staff of Cochin University of Science and Technology, my dear brilliant participants, dear students of CUSAT, my dear friends, a warm greeting to all of you. Good afternoon to one and all. It is my privilege to warmly welcome all of you to the valedictory session of the KCST Tech First 2022 in the august presence of the Honorable Minister for Industries, Law and Higher Government of Kerala, Sri P. Rajiv. I am truly grateful to you, sir, for gracing this occasion. I also thank all those who attended the Tech First and contributed to its success. I also welcome you all to the Tech First Award Ceremony. The three-day event was inaugurated by Dr. K. Ajit Kumar, Director, DRDO Naval Physical and Oceanographic Laboratory, Cochin. His stunning words, the digital age has changed not only the way we live, but also the way we work, was really thrilling at the same time thought-provoking too. The event witnessed project contest, project exhibitions, hackathon, etc. The fascinating ideas presented by young technocrats affirmed the presence of our master brains in a global scenario in coming days. Many of the technology developed and presented here have direct connection to the conservation of ecosystem. This is also indication of technocrats' considerations for nature and their link to sustainable development goals. The Tech Expo, showcasing of Kerala State Council for Science, Technology and its R&D institutions and other leading organizations of the state also attracted the participants and the general public. The valedictory session today is the culmination of the Tech First 2022. The success and acceptance of this program gives us more, more energy and enthusiasm to organize similar programs in future. We welcome any different ideas or suggestions or criticism from any one of you to improve this program. Well, let me discharge my duties of welcoming and gathering. Sri P. Rajiv, Honorable Minister for Industries, Law and Care, Government of Kerala is here with us today. Kuchi is his own area and he is an integral part of any programs happening in Kochi, especially in Cochin University. He had readily agreed to deliver the valedictory address even in his busy schedule. I welcome you, sir, to this event on behalf of Kerala State Council for Science, Technology and CUSAT and all those who gathered here. <laughs> Professor K. N. Mathu Sudhanan, Vice Chancellor, Cochin University of Science and Technology. Without his wish and will, we would not have to be able to conduct this Tech First 2022 here. I extend you, sir, a warm welcome to this function. <laughs> Professor K.P. Sudhir, Executive Vice President, Kerala State Council for Science, Technology, Environment, and Principal Secretary, Department of Government of Kerala. 
is the part and parcel of our Kerala State Council for Science and Technology. He is the chief architect of this episode of I welcome you, sir, formally to this program. <laughs> Professor V. Meera, Registrar Kusat, helped us a lot in organizing the Tech First 2022 here. I sincerely welcome you, ma'am, to this function. <laughs> Professor Shailij, Dean, Research, APJ Abdul Kalam Technical University, is here as with representing the APJ Abdul Kalam Technical University. I cordially welcome you, sir, to this function. <laughs> Dr. Supriya, Professor, Department of Electronics here in Kusat, had coordinated the event for us from the Kusat end. She had meticulously done it, and I sincerely welcome you, Professor Supriya, to this function. <laughs> Dr. Sharin was the coordinator of this episode of Tech First from KCST side, and welcome you to this function. I welcome all the mentors and the participants and the institutions who enthusiastically participated in the Tech First 2022 program. I welcome all the teaching and non-teaching staff of the Cochin University of Science and Technology, and all my colleagues from Kerala State Council for Science, Technology and Environment and different R&D centers to this function. I once again welcome all of you. you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you so much, sir, for the kind gestures. A genuine leader is not a searcher for consensus, but a molder of it. As rightly demonstrated by your honorable Vice Chancellor, who is always the pillar of support to all activities of QSAT. Sir has always encouraged us in all the activities that take place in QSAT. We are very grateful for your overwhelming support to conduct this Tech First, Sir. A couple of days ago, our university has been awarded with NAC A+. It has been achieved only because of the sheer guidance and strong leadership of our Vice Chancellor, Professor K. N. Madhusudan and Sir. I'm, onward, I'm honored to invite you, sir, to deliver the presidential address to the youthful audience and empower them. Honorable Minister for Industries, Law and Coil, Sri P. Rajiv. Professor K.P. Sudhir, Executive Vice President, KCST, other dignitaries on and off the dais, my colleagues, officials from KCST, participants of this event, and friends. At the outset, let me congratulate the winners of the event and also all the participants who had given a very tough competition to the winners. So in that sense, all of us are winners at the end. This event we conducted, hosted in this campus in association with KSCST. We have full confidence that we will be able to conduct the event very successfully with the active participation and guidance from our faculty members, non-teaching staff, students, and so on. When I look at this point in time, at the end of this program, I understand that the program was a huge success and the young people have showcased their talents and innovations and they have shown entrepreneurial spirit. At the beginning of the, uh, the event, as I mentioned, the engineering talent in our state and in our country that pool of talent is going to 
be the driving force to take our state and the country forward. The opportunities provided is very big and it is up to you to find the solutions and come up with the solutions which can be marketed, not just solutions out of curiosity, solutions which can be marketed so that this can be linked directly to the economy and the industrial growth of our state. So we need to provide opportunities for our young people in order to retain them in the state. We are facing big difficulty uh, in retaining our talents in the state. We used to complain about people going out. Now, even for uh, education, uh, even after plus two. We, if you wanted to arrest this and retain the talent pool here, definitely we need to provide them opportunities. These kind of events show the way to our young people to, make, to convince them that opportunities are available here also, so that we can retain the talent here. In that sense, our responsibility as a higher education institution is also very big. We know that. We are also trying to provide all the opportunities for our young people to showcase their talents, various schemes we have uh, implemented and the students are coming to it in a very big way. I'm sure we have to keep this momentum going and so that our state will get benefited economically also with the huge participation of our student community and the young minds. So I wish all the very best for the, all the participants and congratulations to all the winners. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for such appreciative and empowering words. Now, we would like to invite the coordinator of the event, Professor Supriya MH, to give us a brief report of how the program unfolded and what has and will be its impact on the youth and technology enthusiasts. Respected Sri P. Rajiv, Honorable Minister for Industries, Law and Care, Government of Kerala. Respected Professor K. N. Madhusudanan, Vice Chancellor Kusak. Respected K. P. Sudhir Sir, Executive Vice President K. S. G. Dr. S. Pradeep Kumar, Professor V. Meera, Professor Charlie P. R., Dr. Sharon P. M., Distinguished Guests of the Dais, my colleagues, and because all the, those are present here. A very good afternoon to one and all. The Technological Festival, TechFest, is an annual program of Kerala State Council for Science, Technology, and Environment, and houses contests for innovative engineering projects developed by students of engineering colleges in Kerala. The program aims at providing a platform to the engineering students to showcase their projects share their experiences, ideas, and knowledge. TechFest is hosted as a mega technological event for the promotion of technological developments among the engineering students of Kerala. The innovative spirit instilled to engineering students through the mega technological event is expected to lead to the increase of emergence of startup companies in the state. The best projects presented in the text first are given awards and attractive cash prizes. And this has been organized since 2013. The Apex body, the advisory committee for KSEST Tech Fest 2022 is chaired by Professor K.P. Sudhir, Executive Vice President KSEST, and includes the Vice Chancellors of APJ Abdul Kalam Technological University, Cochin University of Science and Technology, Kerala University of Digital Sciences Innovation and Technology, directors of IHRD, CAPE, LBS, and other senior technocrats. According to the advisory committee of KSCST TechFest 2022 recommendations, Cochin University of Science and Technology was chosen as the joint organization and location for the event. The Honorable 
Vice Chancellor has deputed myself to be the coordinator from CRISAT, and KSCST has deputed Dr. Seren BM to be the coordinator from KSCST. An organizing committee with different subcommittees and comprising members from both CRISAT and KSCST was constituted for working towards a successful organization of the event. And the dates were fixed as 26 to 28 October 22. And the preparations began by different subcommittees for organizing the event about three months ago. <coughs> applications were invited from all engineering colleges in Kerala and we received 141 applications. The applications were screened by a screening committee comprising of experts from all branches of engineering. 33 projects were shortlisted in the contest category and 15 applications in the exhibition category. Apart from the project constant, it was also decided to contact a tech expo this year. And KCST was also attracted a lot of industrial sponsorship. Sponsorship were received from Calcutech Communications Private Limited, Kerala State Pollution Control Board, Cochin Shipyard, BPCL, Winwish Technologies Private Limited, Calpine Group, Kerala State IT Mission. The inaugural function was held at 10 p.m. on 26 October 2022. And the event was inaugurated by Dr. Ajit K. Ajit Kumar K, Director, NPOL. Shredding light into the future of engineering, his words, one of the biggest benefits of digitization is the significant reduction in the time taken to produce has a lot of significance. Professor K. N. Madhusudanan, Vice Chancellor, Kuchin University of Science and Technology, delivered a highly motivating address to the future generation. We could host the Science and Technology Exhibition, named as Tech Expo, in the campus with the cooperation of ISRO, NPOL, R&D organization of KSCST, and other premium organizations. And a lot of public was attracted to the event. The stall featuring sonar technology was one of the interesting displays and emphasized on sonar-based underwater surveillance displayed for detection of hostile forces. Space technology has solidified its potential for nation's socio-economic growth and has unclicked great potential for applications in telecommunications, television, etc. Space on Wheels, an exhibition vehicle of ISRO, showed the evolution of Indian launch vehicles SLV-3, ASLV, PSLV, GSLV, and LVM-3. There has been a display of rare endangered water plants also in the stall of Malabar Botanical Garden and Institute of Sciences. Suraksha Ratham, a mobile unit owned by the Factories and Boilers Department, Government of Kerala, for providing community safety awareness program among industry, general public, and educational institutions was present in the Tech Expo. The unit has benefited around 3 lakh people for creating awareness on many safety aspects over the post past years. The session was handled by experts on topics like interaction on institution, industry, and enforcement, chemical inspe inspector of basics, research scholar and electrical safety. Research uh, safety quiz was also conducted by Dr. V.R. Ranjit, professor and head Div division of safety and fire engineering, and the winners were given goodies. On the second day, QSAT hackathon named Make It 5.0 was inaugurated by the Provice Chancellor, Dr. P.G. Shangaran. The program was organized by the Center for Innovation, Technology, Transfer, and Industrial Collaboration in association with KST's TechFest 2022. It is designed a 24-hour open hackathon spreading across two days. The event was sponsored by Sina Intelligence and IEEE. The venture aims to empower individuals and encourage progressive ideas that might hold key solutions to challenges faced today. Inaugurating the event, Pro-Vice Pro Chancellor of Kizat, Dr. P.G. Shankaran, mentioned about the importance of developing products and services useful for the society. Professor K.P. Sudhir, Executive Vice President, KCST, was the chief guest for the event. He pointed out the significance of hackathons in building innovative culture among students. The student, 75 students from institutions across Kerala participated in the event. An additional challenge, Hack for QSAT, was also conducted exclusively for QSAT students. Regarding the innovative projects, an expert judging panel was constituted by KCSTE and evaluated the projects and the results will be announced shortly. 
I hope that the program was beneficial to the students and the general public. I wish all the very best to the student participants. And again, we wish KCST Confront with more and more collaborative events to jointly organize with KISAD. Wish you all a great day ahead. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for briefing us about the event. We are fortunate to have our chief guest as Honorable Minister for Industries, Law and Choir in the Government of Kerala, Shri P. Rajiv. Sir was a member of Parl Parliament, Rajya Sabha from 2009 to 2015. Sir is highly praised for his parliamentary performances. It was outstanding. He won the Sansad Ratna Award in 2016 for his outstanding contributions to the parliament. In 2021 Kerala Legislative Assembly elections, Sir got elected from Kalamashari State Assembly constituency, Arnakulam district. He always extended his wholehearted support to QSAT whenever we approach him. With great honor, may I now request Sri P. Rajiv to deliver the validatory address. Addiction, Professor Gain, Madhusudanan, Vice Chancellor Kusant, Professor K. B. Sudhir, Medi Rula, Dr. S. Pradeep Kumar, Dr. Supriya, Professor Meera, Matu Nishishta Vektigle, Sagodri Sagodar Mare, Vidyar Digle. Tech question day. Samavana Samelanum, Ulkarna Jedai, Adin the Ne, Arikea. He would a member secretary, Adoda Pondane, Doctor Supreme. Tech West in the Savisha the Gul Suji Begunai. Such a young Kadi in the Ruba the Lake, numbered a campus Sagulu Maranum. But the Yangalipudu research fund of no risk fund of no other fund industry, Ipe Nayatil Udeshkinanda Pengane do Pala, Padish Nangal, Chadale, Vijay, Vijay, risk factor would endow. But the industry goody other than a support a yam Sadarna Diabagranda Gavesh Nangalam, Angi Grada, Prosidigar Nangala, Probandangala, Kuindi Matramana, Padi Wulla Adilman Engane, commercial production legi. Mati the Ganagadi. I've been a support of Bosai and I report Udeshkinanda. Industry campus Sagale Engana Sagaiga. Pokochen University of Science and Technology Iltane Sindate, Patu Godigade Uru Research Idibudu, Patta plus Patta, Adita Katamata, Adata Patta, Idibudu Godigade, Research Center Savigiano. Other University of Urumuru MOU. Dharana Aitan, Adigam Vegade, our center of the Vedu. Bo Etum, Pudia, Gaveshnam, Bosai, and Avisham either University of Ganagan Kadim and Nana Pudishi Mother. Other than Matasarvala Saregulum, Idebo regular center regal, industry, establishment regal, RMB Kanaman, Kadadunand, Abinola supportum, government of Malaganamanan, Udishi Mother. We were an Adana Marcedatil. Ere Shadaya Maya projectical Audri Pijatunda Karina Masam, Bosai Bagupinda Girilla Kid, Jilla de Latil, Marcella Sangari Piju, Samstana de Latilum, Tirundurta, Marcella Sangari Pigi and I. Adil Maldrenella, participation on one another. Tirundurta Padasanatil, Vadre Padana Pata, Tela, Company Gil the Ne. Ninggal ada kandu berita yang kita ada, awal dua bulan sebelum kita naik semai pin dulu na, awal dua bulan sebelum kita naik semai pin dulu na. Startup kita naik itu na, cila perdesan dekat yang kita pergi cari itu na. Orang prototype dua bulan sebelum kita naik semai sambat dekat pin dulu na, yang kita malah gaya mana orang. Dua, ini ada desain. Ninggal ada satu sambidaran dah kumpul, adu ni kita kalah kita til, vibrant ini agar sih kita naik kadi itu na, satu desain yang kita ini naik kita naik mana. Ah. Kandibitam, Malaguna, Seven at Todo, Alangil, other Ulpaman Rengat to Malaguna, Samba, and you would open the name, other design of Padana Padana, Kerala the Langan design, some with an Anglia. Padana Engana government is a guy again, Gadium, Ethan Gairingal, Uru, Paraspera Pangal at the Tode, Uru private public partnership board of Woody, Kundu and Kadinabu, government, Chartaji the Wundikinunda. Punamaluru, Ipo Industry Revolution 4.0, Adilakula Vigasam, Aling Smart Industry, Adanalo Ikalagata the Dead. 
അതിലേക്കുള്ള വികാസത്തിന് സഹായിക്കാൻ കഴിയുന്ന രൂപത്തിൽ നമ്മുടെ വിദ്യാഭ്യാസ സ്ഥാപനങ്ങളെ പ്രാപ്തമാക്കാനുള്ള പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങളുടെ ഒരു ഭാഗം തന്നെയാണിത് ഇപ്പോൾ കഴിഞ്ഞ ദിവസം കൊളോക്കിയത്തിൻ്റെ ഭാഗമായി ഗവൺമെൻറ് തീരുമാനിച്ചു എല്ലാ യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റികളിലും മൂന്ന് പുതിയ കോഴ്സുകൾ ഒരു അപ്ലിക്കേഷനുള്ള കോഴ്സുകൾ ആരംഭിക്കേണ്ടതുണ്ട് ഇവിടെയും വളരെ അതിനൂതനമായ മൂന്ന് കോഴ്സുകളാണ് കുസാറ്റിലും ഇപ്പോൾ അവർ പ്രപ്പോസ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ളത് ഞങ്ങൾ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രിയൽ പോളിസി ചർച്ച ചെയ്ത ഇപ്പോൾ ഒരു കാര്യം ഇപ്പോൾ ടെന്നർ ടീച്ചേഴ്സാണ് ഇത്തരം കാര്യങ്ങളിൽ പൊതുവെ ഉദ്ദേശിക്കപ്പെടുന്നത് യു ജി സിയുടെയും ഗൈഡ് ലൈൻ അത് തന്നെയാണ് അതുപോലെ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രിക്ക് എങ്ങനെ സപ്പോർട്ട് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും ഇപ്പോൾ എല്ലാം ഡിജിറ്റലൈസ്ഡ് ആണല്ലോ പുതിയ കോഴ്സുകൾക്കുള്ള ക്വാളിഫൈഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഫാക്കൽറ്റി ആയിരിക്കും നമ്മൾ നേരിടുന്ന ഏറ്റവും പ്രധാനപ്പെട്ട ചലഞ്ച് കാരണം ഈ പുതിയ ഇപ്പോൾ ആർട്ടിഫിഷ്യൽ ഇൻ്റലിജൻസ് തന്നെ രണ്ടായിരത്തി പതിനെട്ടിൽ പഠിച്ച ഒരാൾ ഇറങ്ങി വേറെ എവിടെ ഇരിക്കുകയാണെങ്കിൽ ഇരുപത്തി രണ്ടിൽ പഠിപ്പിക്കാൻ ചിലപ്പോൾ പ്രാപ്തനായി എന്ന് വരില്ല അവനുസരിച്ച് നിരന്തരം അപ്ഡേറ്റ് ചെയ്യപ്പെടുമില്ല എങ്കിൽ പുതുതായി എമർജിങ് ടെക്നോളജിയിലും വേണ്ടത്ര അറിവുള്ള പരിചയസമ്പന്നരായ ഒരു റിസോഴ്സിനെ ഇത്തരം കോഴ്സുകൾക്ക് കിട്ടാൻ വലിയ ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടാണ് അതൊരു വെല്ലുവിളിയാണ് ഇപ്പോൾ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രിയലിസ്റ്റുകൾ എങ്ങനെ നമുക്ക് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഈ മേഖലയിൽ പ്രവർത്തിക്കുന്ന ഇൻഡസ്ട്രിയിൽ തന്നെ ഉയർന്ന ജോലി ചെയ്യുന്ന ആളുകളെ എങ്ങനെ നമുക്ക് അധ്യാപകർ കൂടിയാക്കി മാറ്റാൻ കഴിയും ഇപ്പോൾ വേണമെങ്കിൽ അമേരിക്കയിലിരിക്കുന്ന ഒരാൾക്ക് ഒരു രണ്ട് മണിക്കൂർ ഇവിടെ ക്ലാസ് എടുക്കാം അത് ഏതെങ്കിലും ഗസ്റ്റ് ലെക്ചർ എന്ന രൂപത്തിലല്ല ഒരു മോഡ്യൂൾ പൂർത്തീകരിക്കാൻ കഴിയാവുന്ന രൂപത്തിലുള്ള ഉത്തരവാദിത്വം അവരെ ഏൽപ്പിക്കാൻ കഴിയുമോ ആ പോയിൻറ്റും ഇപ്പോൾ സർക്കാർ ചർച്ച ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് അപ്പോൾ അതിവേഗത്തിൽ നമ്മൾ മാറുന്നു എന്നുള്ളത് സന്തോഷകരമാണ് ഞാൻ കഴിഞ്ഞ ദിവസം ഇന്ത്യൻ ഇലക്ട്രോണിക്സ് ആൻഡ് സെമി കണ്ടക്ടർ അസോസിയേഷനുമായിട്ടൊരു ഡിസ്കഷൻ ഉണ്ടായി കഴിഞ്ഞ ദിവസം നടന്ന ഗുജറാത്തിലെ ഡിഫൻസ് എക്സ്പോയുടെ മുന്നോടിയായിട്ടുള്ള ചർച്ചയാണ് അപ്പോൾ അവരിൽ അദ്ദേഹം അതിൻ്റെ പ്രസിഡൻറ്റ് അദ്ദേഹം ട്രിവാൻഡ്രം എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് കോളേജിൻ്റെ അലൂമിനിയാണ് അപ്പോൾ അദ്ദേഹം പറഞ്ഞത് മറ്റ് സ്റ്റേറ്റെല്ലാം വരുമ്പോൾ പോസ്റ്ററുകളും ബ്രോഷറുകളുമായി മാത്രമാണ് കേരളം മാത്രമാണ് പ്രൊഡക്റ്റായിട്ട് വരുന്നത് നമ്മുടെ കെൽട്രോൺ പ്രൊഡക്റ്റായിട്ട് കേരളം മാത്രമേ വരുന്നുള്ളൂ അത് നമുക്ക് അഭിമാനകരമാണ് അതിനുശേഷം അടുത്ത ചോദ്യം അദ്ദേഹം എന്നോട് ചോദിച്ചു സാർ നിങ്ങൾ എന്താണ് ഇത് വേണ്ടത്ര മാർക്കറ്റ് ചെയ്യാത്തത് ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞു ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഒരു രീതി എന്തെങ്കിലും ചെറിയ പ്രശ്നം വന്നാൽ ലോകത്ത് അതിവേഗത്തിൽ എത്തിക്കുക എന്നുള്ളതാണ് കേരളത്തിൻ്റെ രീതി എന്തെങ്കിലും നെഗറ്റീവ് ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ നമ്മൾ വാട്സപ്പ് യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റികൾ എല്ലാ ഭാഷയിലേക്കും അത് പരിവർത്തനം ചെയ്യും ഇപ്പോൾ പരിഭാഷപ്പെടുത്തും സ്പാനിഷ് ഫ്രഞ്ച് എല്ലാത്തിലേക്കും അത് നെഗറ്റീവ് എത്തിക്കും ഈ പോസിറ്റീവ് എത്തിക്കാൻ ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടാണ് ഇന്നലെ ശ്രീചിത്രയുടെ ഡയറക്ടർ പറഞ്ഞു മെഡിക്കൽ ഡിവൈസുമായി ബന്ധപ്പെട്ട ഇത്രയും വളരെ സ്ട്രക്ചേർഡായ ഒരു ഇൻഫ്രാസ്ട്രക്ചർ ഇന്ത്യയിൽ മറ്റൊരു സംസ്ഥാനത്തിനും ഇല്ല അത് ശ്രീചിത്ര ഡയറക്ടർ നേരിട്ട് ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഇന്നലത്തെ ഇൻട്രാക്ഷൻ സെക്ഷൻ പറഞ്ഞതാണ് ഇപ്പം ഇത്തരം പോസിറ്റീവ് സൈഡ്സ് ഉണ്ട് നമുക്ക് ഇപ്പോൾ ലോകത്തിൻ്റെ സ്പൈസ് ക്യാപിറ്റൽ അത് കേരളമാണ് ലോകത്തിൻ്റെ സ്പൈസ് പ്രോസസ്സിങ്ങിൻ്റെ ഹബ്ബ് ഗ്ലോബൽ ഹബ്ബ് അത് കേരളമാണ് ഈ സ്പൈസ് പ്രോസസ്സിങ്ങിൻ്റെ മൂന്ന് ഗ്ലോബൽ ലീഡേഴ്സ് കേരളത്തിൽ നിന്നാണ് ഒന്ന് രണ്ട് മൂന്ന് കേരളത്തിൽ നിന്നാണ് ഇപ്പോൾ മെഡിക്കൽ ഡിവൈസസിൽ എടുത്താൽ ബ്ലഡ് ബാഗ് ഉണ്ടാക്കുന്ന കമ്പനി ഏഷ്യയിൽ ഏറ്റവും വലിയ കമ്പനികളൊന്ന് തിരുവനന്തപുരത്താണ് കൃത്രിമ പല്ലുണ്ടാക്കുന്ന കമ്പനി ഏഷ്യയിലെ പ്രധാനപ്പെട്ട കമ്പനി മൂവാറ്റുപുഴയിലാണ് ലോകത്തെ പല രാജ്യങ്ങളിലും ഓഫീസുള്ള നമ്മുടെ കൺസ്യൂമബിൾസ് ബ്ലഡൊക്കെ ടെസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്ന സാധനങ്ങളും വളരെ എക്കണോമിക്കലായിട്ടുള്ള മെഡിക്കൽ ഡിവൈസസ് നിർമ്മിക്കുന്ന ഒരു മൾട്ടി നാഷണൽ കമ്പനിയുടെ കോർപ്പറേറ്റ് ഓഫീസ് എറണാകുളം ജില്ലയിലാണ് ഇങ്ങനെ നിരവധി സ്ഥാപനങ്ങൾ ലോകോത്തര സ്ഥാപനങ്ങൾ നമ്മുടെ നാട്ടിലുണ്ട് ഇപ്പോൾ ഐ ബി എം അതിൻ്റെ ഓപ്പറേഷൻസ് വലിയ ക്യാമ്പസ് കൊച്ചിയിൽ കഴിഞ്ഞ മാസം ആരംഭിച്ചു കൊക്കിനസൻ ഒന്നരകാൽ ലക്ഷം സ്ക്വയർ ഫീറ്റിൽ ഇൻഫോ പാർക്കിൽ അവരുടെ പ്രവർത്തനം ആരംഭിച്ചു ടി സി എസ് മുപ്പത്താറ് ഏക്കറിലാണ് കൊച്ചിയിൽ കാക്കനാട് അവരുടെ വലിയ ക്യാമ്പസ് എന്നുള്ള നിർമ്മാണം നടന്നുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നത് ടാറ്റ എലക്സി അവരിപ്പോൾ അൻപത് ശതമാനം അവരുടെ
Let us now invite our extremely energetic and enthusiastic professor, V. Mira, Registrar of QSAT. She has always extended her support towards the students of QSAT. Ma'am, we welcome you to deliver the felicitations. A very good afternoon, everyone. <coughs> Honorable <coughs> Minister for Industries, Law, and Choir, Sri P. Rajiv. Honorable Vice Chancellor, QSAT, Professor K. N. Madhusudanan. Professor K.P. Sudhir, Executive Vice President, KSCST, Dr. S. Pradeep Kumar, Member Secretary, KSCST, Professor Supriya M.H., Coordinator, TechFest 2022, all other dignitaries present, dear friends and students, <coughs> This is the concluding day of the three-day Tech Fest, which is held during 26th to 28th of this month. And I am very proud to say that QSAT has been chosen as the host institute to conduct this annual technical event organized by Kerala, Science, Kerala State Council for Science, Technology and Environment. And we have QSAT and KSCSD already joined hands in instituting the sophisticated Test and Instrumentation Center at QSAT, which is facilitating, or it plays a very crucial role in facilitating the research activities, the in-house research activities of our university, and also taking it out to the benefit of the industries uh, the R&D organizations and other higher education institutions in our state. And I understand that this Tech Fest, this annual technical festival, is meant to promote the innovative ideas of engineering students. And I hope this three-day Tech Fest has already uh, taken our young engineers to a very great level to spark the interest of innovative uh, or technological investigation innovations and also to develop and understand the managerial skills the startup and the entrepreneurial ecosystem. We know that we live in a world which is evolving, changing knowledge or the disseminators of knowledge and innovation for you know, the production of a knowledge-based economy. And what we need at this point is to focus on our youth because the younger generations are the driving force for the development of economy of any nation. And I can proudly say that compared to any other nations in the world, India is a very youngest country. And it is at this point that the tech fest comes into play in molding our younger generations in tune with the demands of 
a better knowledge economy. And I should also say that uh, when we develop innovations and technologies for the betterment of uh, our nation, we should also take care of or we should make sure that, ensure that all the people are represented and uh, to create a system which encourages diversity and values equality. Such systems only can lead to a better future. So with this, uh, let me conclude and let me also take this opportunity to congratulate and thank all the dignitaries, the officers, scientists of KSCST and all the um, uh, staff members, students of QSAT, especially Dr. Supriya, the coordinator for making this event a great success. And I also wish uh, the very best for all the future episodes of this Tech Fest. Uh, and I also take this opportunity to congratulate all the winners for, of this Tech Fest 2022. Thank you all. Thank you, ma'am, for your kind words. Now we would like to invite a very charismatic personality, Professor Sajil PR, Dean Research, APJ Abdul Kalam Technical University. Sir, I request you to deliver a part of your wisdom to our young audience present here. Good evening, everyone. There is a small change in the program. The Honorable Minister uh, needs to go for another meeting at 4 o'clock. So we would uh, continue with the, the price distribution first. Then, then we'll continue with the program. So in the last three days, we had a wonderful uh, exhibit of all the competitive spirit, which was showcased by all our students. So I don't want to, uh, I have detailed information which is as a feedback for the students given by the judging panel. I would uh, uh, go through it later. I would like to announce the prize first. As you all know, there are 11 prizes instituted for this event. And I'll start from the most prize, which was sponsored by the control I would like to request the representatives from Pollution Control Board and Cochin Shipya to join us on stage to witness the award ceremony. The one of the awards out of five in the bronze category goes to the project titled Rural Women Empowerment Through Broom Making Process from Christ College of Engineering, mentored by Mr. Rajiv T.R. And the student team is Joel Jiju, Rinoy Saju, Estin Jos, E.J. Bennett. I request the team members to come and collect the prize from the Honorable Minister. And the second is, is, not the, is not in the order of merit. Second out of four, two out of five is for the project Deep Rover from Christ College of Engineering again, mentored by Mr. Sunil Paul. Team members are Abhiram P. Nair, Jay Krishnan, Leon, Alex Nilankavil. 
प्लीज कम एंड रिसीव द प्राइस The third out of five, again not in the order of merit, is for the project Latex Pro from Amal Jodi College of Engineering, mentored by Sri Abhi Vargis, team members Abid Habib, Joel Sebastian, Athil Selim. And the four out of five. again in the bronze not in the order of merit is for the project solar powered desalination from christ college of engineering dr vishwanath k kaimal mentored it from alfred cherian anel francis christian vincent and abin the judging committee evaluated all the competitors as well as the as well as the exhibitions and they strongly recommended that one of the bronze prizes should be from the the exhibit category and that award goes to scooty throttle accidental rise cut off system from sri narayana institute of technology mentored by mr akhil khosh team members vishnu up nayar v niji grishma and john paul <laughs> so congratulations to all the team members now we go for announcing the silver prize which is solely sponsored by the cochin shipyard and can i request mr babraj to be on the the audience now from pollution control board well there are three silver prizes i'm announcing not in the order of merit the first project is eco boat from sakhardeya college of engineering and technology mentored by dr arun thomas the team members being joshua soni sayan krishna lakshmi rajkumar and joseph the second number in the silver category is given to medi caller from again sahardeya college of engineering and technology mentored by miss aarti team members being ashwin ashokan b r ros babu edwin saju and anu the third silver category award is announced to a project named iot based e nose for a healthy life from indian institute of information technology kottayam mentored by dr rajesh gk team members being guda shiva shiva sai santosh and sai heman congratulations to the winners now we have two awards in the gold prize category which is a cash award of 25000 rupees each sponsored by winwish technology private limited trivandrum and the one of them goes to the project titled landslide predictions and zone based alert system from government engineering college idki mentored by sri ratish tk 
and the student team SM Mohammad Ashar, Sneha and Alfia. The second gold prize is awarded to the project Application of Water Hyacinth for Masonry Block from MES College of Engineering, Kutipuram, mentored by Sri Muhammad Sohali, student team Fatima Sahaina, Safiq Rahman, Sri Lakshmi Lal, Muhammad Sabit. Congratulations to the winners. Now we have the most awaited, the Platinum Prize, sponsored by Kalki Communications and Technology Private Limited, which is worth 30,000 rupees. And it goes to the project titled Compact Miller D. Husker from College of School of Engineering, Kusat, mentored by Dr. Biju N. And student team, MD Talha, Adityan, Amal, and Ashwin. So congratulations to all the winners and the feedback from, I just briefly tell you the feedback from the, the, the serving committee, the judging committee members. Uh, they felt that the students should consult with the domain expert to get into more knowledge and uh, uh, validate with some agency who can certify your results to be very good. And one of the observations they have made is, there are some institutes where the domain departments are not available and they started thinking on their own and developed the project. Instead of that, you can always collaborate with a neighboring institute where the department is available. And there are several suggestions given by them, probably we will email to all the teams. So once again, congratulations to all the team members. Now I request uh, the announcement of the, the results of hackathon. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, Make a turn is an annual uh, hackathon event conducted in QSAT by CITIC, the technology business incubator. This year's hackathon was uh, attended by 250 participants, a record number. And we have shortlisted 75 of them for this 24 hour marathon hackathon without a break. And uh, 25 teams completed the exercise. Five of them are shortlisted into the final round. They made a presentation in front of the eminent panel from which the winners were selected. I thank uh, KCT for all the support and our sponsors for giving all the encouragement. Uh, let me go to the prices now. Uh, the second prize, the runner-up prize uh, is won by Christ College of Engineering Irinyalakuda for designing a customized professional network for academic community. The team consists of Austin Simpson, Amal Manoj, Sai Prasadam and Akhil P. Raj. The uh, award carries a cash prize of rupee 20,000 constituted by city and a certificate of merit. And the winner of Hackathon 2022 titled Makeaton 5.0 
is Government Model Engineering College Trikakara for designing an intelligent tool for optimizing the land usage in a smart city environment. The team consists of Jeswin Thomas, Adam Oman Jacob, Hisham and Atul, represented by two members here and the award is a cash price of rupees 30,000 and certificate of merit. They also get goodies from Amazon and Google. We also have a very special prize uh, as insisted by the Vice Chancellor. It is called Hike for QSAT, where a team from QSAT designing a solution for any problem faced by QSAT students is given a very special prize of 10,000 rupees. And the prize goes to a team from School of Engineering for developing an intelligent application mitigating the accommodation issues of QSAT students. The team consists of Nihal Vadakan, Sanu Mohammad, Arshad Eti, and Shahaz. Congratulations and thank you, sir. We thank uh, Honorable Minister Sir for uh, encouraging us and joining us for this auspicious event and we thank all the participants and all the delegates and dignitaries and we wish all of them all the best with it. Now we would like to invite a very charismatic personality, Professor Shalaj PR, Dean of APJKTU. Sir, I request you to deliver a part of your wisdom for our young, your audience present here. Most respected Honorable Minister of Industries, Law and Choir, Sri P. Rajiv, uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor of QSAT, Professor K. N. Madhusudan, sir, uh, Professor K.P. Sudhir, Executive Vice President of KSCST, uh, Dr. S. Pradeep Kumar, Dr. Sharon B. Uh, and all other dignitaries on the dais, uh, all the participants of this uh, event, Tech First 2022, faculty members, uh, mentors, and my dear students. Uh, I am extremely happy to be here uh, as part of this uh, validatory function. In fact, I was uh, I was able to see some of your projects which is displayed because I was a little late so I couldn't uh, see all of the projects that are dis displayed but still uh, I used to be a frequenter in such events, uh, the, all, most of the previous events of Tech First I used to visit. Now if you compare that, uh, most of the, I, I mean I must say all of the projects which are displayed here are distinct and very innovative and creative as compared to the previous previous ones so it's a it's very heartening to see that the students are able to uh, create innovative solutions to the needs of the society i must say our curriculum does not support much to be innovative and creative but still people are able to be creative and innovative that I could be able to witness uh, from the projects that, has, that are displayed. And I congratulate all the people, all the winners, uh, as well as all the people who have uh, come here for displaying their innovative pro projects because you have gone through the process of identification of the need and uh, so, uh, the different possibilities and finally designing the product and you are able to present the, present your uh, solution to the uh, to, to a place like this because many people will come and interact with you you will be able to fine tune that so that process is very important you are able to identify a need and some offer some solutions and that is being showcased and you are able to see the people are able to see that you will get various kinds of feedbacks that is the process 
that process you have undergone is the achievement of uh, this kind of events. That is what you gain out of uh, these kind of events. You may succeed in uh, converting this into a product or be, you may not succeed, but that's different. The process which is undergone, now you are able to see, you are able to identify, you are able to uh, identify some kind of a need and you can uh, develop solutions. As Sudhir sir was pointing out, even then, even then the, uh, the respective departments are there, the solutions uh, are there, uh, disciplines are not there in the institution. You are able to identify, you are able to uh, uh, get the, uh, identify the solutions by yourself. So that's the creative part of it. I congratulate, again, once again, congratulate to all the people who have attended here and of course those who have won the prizes. Uh, this kind of events are uh, being uh, organized in every year. So KSST is taking too much pain in organizing uh, to, to, uh, to set this. There are a lot of other works uh, behind the scene to be done. So I, let me congratulate KSST also for taking up this kind of uh, effort. This is very much helpful to the people who are uh, in colleges, they wanted to showcase their creative ideas uh, in front of the people. So thank you very much. Congratulating all of you once again. Thank you for, the, uh, for inviting me to this function. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for concluding the felicitations. Now we'd like to conclude the program with the vote of thanks, which will be The reward of, of a thing well done is having done it. However, we would be falling short of our duty if we do not recognize a thing well done and encourage it. May I now request Dr. Sherin B.M., Scientist B at KSCSTE, to render the acknowledgments, please. We are heading the activities of this event with his tremendous support and timely guidance. Thank you, sir. On behalf of KCST, I express my gratitude to Professor K.N. Madhusudanan Honorable Vice Chancellor Kisat for joining hands with KCST for the conduct of KCST Tech Fest 2022. I also thank you, sir, for offering the presidential address. I also express my sincere thanks to Dr. S. Pradeep Kumar, Member Secretary KCST, for his dynamic support and guidance, without which the program could not have been materialized. I also thank you, sir, for welcoming the gathering. On behalf of the organizing team, I express my gratitude to Professor Meera Registra Kusat for her support to the smooth conduct of the program. Thank you, Madam. On behalf of the organizing team, I thank Professor Shalish, Dean Research, APJ Abdul Kalam Technological University for his tremendous support to all the technology initiatives of KCST and also for this program. Thank you, sir. On behalf of KCST and on my own behalf, I sincerely thank Professor Supriya MH, coordinator from QSAT for KCST TechFest 2022, for her sincere, wholehearted and untiring efforts she has put in for the conduct of the program. Thank you, Madam. Every program becomes successful with the support of the participants. On behalf of the organizing committee and on my own behalf, I thank all the student participants and the mentors who have taken the pains to accompany them for your participation and cooperation in the event. I hope that the efforts we have put in was beneficial to you. I wish all the students a very promising future. On behalf of the organizing committee, I sincerely thank our pa 